your girl Lauren here with another episode of the Simply Curly channel. If you are new, hey, thanks for joining. If you're returning, what up, Curl? What up, Carls? All right, let's get into it. You guys already know by the title. We are getting into my updated skincare routine. This is a highly requested video, so I'm so excited to get into this today. I got some new gadgets and stuff, and we're going to get right into that, but first, Oh my gosh, you guys, we reached 1,000 subscribers on the Simply Curly channel. Thank you so much, everybody. <laughs> Thank you so much for the support. Honestly, this is my hobby. I would be doing this stuff anyways without the cameras, and I've decided at the end of 2019 to turn it into a YouTube channel so it's just I, I started it not knowing if people would really like my content or watch but I love you guys thank you so much for the support and I just am so excited to see how our community grows from here so if you want to join the, the curl fam don't forget to subscribe down below I'll give you a minute all right, because we're doing big things over here, all right? And I have another special announcement. I put myself out there, curls, and I applied to be a part of the Sephora Squad 2021. Now, what that is, is an ambassador program for influencers under the Sephora umbrella to do campaigns with them for a year. This lasts a year. It's not just campaigns, you know, it's great to get paid for what you do and, you know, get free products to test out because, you know, that's what I'm all about. I'm obviously a product junkie, okay? But you also get mentorship. You are able to go to special events to learn about new products and get master classes from the owners. And so overall, I think that this opportunity would catapult this community. I'll be having fire content for you guys. I'll be able to provide you guys with the latest beauty trends and you know, a heads up on them and my thoughts about them. This opportunity is not only good for me in terms of developing myself, just growing as an influencer in the beauty community, it's also awesome for you guys. As a part of the Curl Fam, you're going to be in the know of all the latest beauty trends and you're going to be on this journey with me. If you want to see the Curl Fam represented on Sephora Squad 2021, in order to get my application boosted, I need your testimonials. Now, Sephora is saying that it doesn't matter the amount of testimonials you, you get. Right now I'm at 25, so thanks and shout out to all the folks that have already given my testimonials to my testimonial page. But it's really about the content. So I would really love if, if anything I've posted has moved you, if it really helps you, if you keep coming back to this channel, please give your girl a shout out, a well thought out shout out. I will put the link in my description box below and in a pinned comment below so you won't be able to miss it, honey. It is so easy. It takes less than five minutes. So let's get to 50. Yeah, let's get to 50 testimonials because the last time I looked, I think we were at 25. So let's get to the 50 testimonials by the end of this week. And if you have any questions for me about the Sephora Squad or anything like that, make sure you comment down below. Now, let's get into what this video is really about. Let's get into it, curls. All right, curls. So, I set up my space to get all ready to tell you guys about my new skincare routine and everything. But I wanted to, you know, have some spa vibes. You know, I'm in my robe and everything. Let me get my mirror together. I have my hair tied back. My hair's a little bit of a mess. I'm stretching out my wash day. So after this, I think I'm going to tie it up and restyle it. But I have my diffuser here, so we're going to get those spa vibes. I actually don't know where this is from. I got this as a gift, so I'm sure maybe I'll just find a link for y'all on Amazon and I'll put that in my description box. But we're getting spa vibes here. You know, self-care is all about making yourself comfortable. It's your time for you, so I'm going to have that running. The essential oil that I put in was Joy by Young Living, and let's see what's in it. 
Oh, it doesn't tell us. It's an essential oils blend. So I don't know what's in it, but it smells really good. So now, curls, let's get into the skincare, okay? What's important first is to make sure you're getting all the debris off your face, especially if you're coming from makeup. I'm not. I rarely wear makeup during the week because of COVID and me ain't got nowhere to go. But I still like to do this step. So I will take my micellar cleansing water. And you can get this from Target, y'all. I love this stuff. Obviously, it's almost gone, but I got a bag up, so. <laughs> but yeah, I just like to do this before I actually cleanse my face. You just gonna wanna get that, get that skin, get that debris off, you know, anything that's there. So your wash can be, you know, top notch. And there was a little dirt, y'all. Okay, so now that we've done that, I'm going to do my cleanse. This bottle is a little dirty. I'm going to use the 50 Skin Total Cleanser for my cleansing today. Um, this is actually almost gone. So, and I literally have ran completely out of my facial cleanser, so. It's gonna be a Sephora haul coming soon, sis. So uh, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos, right? I'll be right back, curls. I do wanna wash my face at the sink because I don't want to make a mess at my table with the water. It's a lot, so I'll be right back. All right, y'all, I am back. Okay, and my face is freshly washed. As you can see, I'm going to pat dry my face a little bit. It is always best to pat dry your face. Um, you don't want to use a towel and like, it just disrupts your skin. And you don't want, you want to always avoid like micro tearing or anything on your skin. So it's always nice to pat dry. Oh curls, and if you want a full review on the skincare products from Fenty Skin, I do have a video already that I'll post above, just reviewing the cleanser over a week span I think. So yeah, check out that link above if you want an in-depth description of Fenty Skin and what it's all about. We're not going to redo any content here, alright? So you're going to have to go and watch that video. But next, if you're doing an in-depth skincare or facial for yourself, obviously you could like extract pimples, but I really don't do that. I just let them do what they do if I have any. But you can follow up at this point with a mask, which I will be doing. If you don't want to use a mask, you can also just go straight to the next step that I'll be getting into. But this mask is by Dr. J. Art, and it is the Soothing Hydro Solution Mask. It is a sheet mask. And I have tried their rubber mask before and I was just like, let me just grab a sheet mask, okay sis? And this is a sheet tight facial mask that moisturizes and conditions sensitive skin with aqua cell and quick soothing complex. So basically, you leave this on for about 15 to 20 minutes. And I have an exciting tool that I just got from Amazon, y'all. It is, get ready, a facial steamer. So we're really gonna get into this sip. We're really gonna get into the skincare, okay? So let me set that up and I will be right back. I don't know what's going on, y'all. My skin's getting a little irritated on my jaw. I don't know why. But I've already put the water in this facial steamer. Typically, I didn't have a clay mask. I would have used that. I do have Indian clay, but I didn't want to use Indian clay mask. That's a lot better, I feel, when you're doing like a steaming mask or like a gel mask is really great. But we're just going to use what we have. A mask is a mask, sis. So I'm going to apply this mask, put it on, and then put my face in the steamer for about 15 minutes. And then we're going to chit chat. I did want to bring up a couple of things, little hot topics that I wanted to bring to this video too. So continue watching. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we're going to put this mask on. I love this for me. I'm gonna put this on, my timer on for 15 minutes on my Apple Watch. 
just get into it. Before I get to the steaming, I did want to start one topic I wanted to bring up in this video and just chat throughout because towards the end I want you to really like explain my products. I'm just going to tell you what I'm using. So I figured this will be a good point to start my little chitty chat portion of the video. So, and I know I look crazy, so if you're still here, you rocking with your girl. Alright, so the first thing I wanted to update you guys was how Clomid is going. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please go to my TTC playlist. I'll link it above in whatever corner it's going to come up. And just really briefly, you guys, if you've been following me, know that my husband and I deal with a little bit of infertility issues. I got diagnosed with like unexplained infertility, which they believe the reason being is that I have a left block tube, my fallopian tube, that they don't know why it's blocked. And I haven't had a history of pelvic inflammation or infection. I don't have any inflammation in that area that has been detected. So it's just sort of unexplained. I also have thyroidism, hypothyroidism, and I do have a video of that and I'll link that above. <laughs> Since I have so much content at this point, like I think I have like at least 60 videos on my YouTube channel so far. But yeah, and so we are in our second round of Clomid right now. This month has been a little different. I did definitely feel like a lot of the emotional symptoms of it, but we're over that now. We're in the baby dancing phase, so that's fun for us. <laughs> but towards the, I think towards the end of this month or next month, beginning of next month, I'll give a full catch up on Clomid. But I wanted to plug that in just so you guys know we are still trying to conceive. We hope we get pregnant this year, but you know, it's all in God's hands. So yeah, this facial steamer is taking a minute to turn on. So I'm just going to go into my next topic. You know, I've already mentioned I've applied for the Sephora Squad and I'm just, I just wanted to say like, I'm just so, if I get picked for Sephora Squad 2021, I'm going live on IG, like, and we're having a party, like, turn up! Ooh. Ah. Ah. Turn up. Ooh. because that's going to be so cool and just so validating for me, and then awesome for you guys, because you're going to be able to have one of your favorite YouTubers represented by Sephora, who doesn't love Sephora, sis? Like, I'm so excited. And honestly, like, if I don't get it, it's all good. Like, I'm going to just apply again next year, you know? Let me get into this face scene because I just started. Hold on. I'm feeling very... You know, it's giving me very like salon vibes. I love this for me. I'll put that to the side for a second. I will get back to Sephora, but I didn't want to tell you guys what the benefits are of steaming. And this was pretty affordable. I don't think it was more than 20 bucks. Like to have just salon vibes at your house, it's pretty cool right so it's definitely affordable if you're into skincare and what it does it just it preps that skin it makes that skin take in the products that you're using and so that's why it's awesome to have when you're doing your own skincare at home you know it just makes sure that those maybe pricey products you're using really does go a long way and so it just opens the pores up to absorb the products that you're using and who doesn't want that sis and it just gives you pamper vibes like who wouldn't love this so it's just a great addition to your skincare if you're not knowing if you're wanting to buy something really cool for your skincare and are not sure what that is for you yet i definitely suggest a facial steamer so yeah about the sephora squad we're gonna have a party if i win but if i don't it is all good and sorry i didn't mean to say when i meant we're gonna have a party if i get selected as part of the squad because that's gonna be so fire so definitely don't be discouraged or anything to support support your girl sephora is not looking at follower count subscriber count though it probably does add validity to your application i do recognize that but they are looking for quality and substance so if you feel like i've had provided quality if i helped you with anything 
please provide the details in the testimonial link in the description box and it will be in a pinned comment. I will sort of be OD on my IG about it. I'm probably going to give daily updates. You know, your girl has to promote yourself, so hopefully you guys <laughs> don't leave me for that. You know, I'm just trying to promote myself and get out there and spread the word because sometimes people might forget like they want us they want to provide a testimonial but then they forget and then forget where to to find it and also if you have not followed my ig account i don't know what you're doing my ig is lauren love five two v's all right so get into it i'm trying to get better at posting daily if not every other day and i'm trying to get better at doing photos full body photos of me of like outfits and or you know hair content and skin content and i also love finding funny reels so if you want to get laughed there's always something to laugh about in my stories and if you want some inspiration just daily inspiration there's always at least one tweet or something in my story so definitely go check my IG out I also just re reached a thousand followers on IG in the same week I've got a thousand subscribers for YouTube might I add so we we taking off since we go we are going places okay so thanks again for rocking with me y'all so I'm going to let the steamer, like I'm just going to be done with the steamer for now. Um, I don't want to OD it, but I still have time on the clock. So I have five minutes left on this mask. I am going to leave the steamer alone. I think I ran out of water, but I, I'm done. You don't want to over steam. I just wanted to get that hit on my face, you know. So I did post on my IG last week and I asked you guys, what questions you have for me now I'm still trying to um, improve my engagement on IG like sometimes it's a success sometimes it's not sometimes people respond sometimes people don't and I'm not really I'm just gonna create right, my camera died so we just go rewind so but I did ask you guys last week what did you guys have any questions for me that I can answer in my skincare video because it's going to be a little bit of a chit chat boop de boop okay so I only got two questions and that's okay but make sure you guys are responding so you can be featured on my upcoming videos if I do put put polls in or anything like that I want you guys to be a part of the production sometimes okay so make sure you are looking out for that and responding when you get a chance but the two questions were for my girl that I follow her name is simply J and I'll put her handle below here on the video um, but she also has a YouTube video I'll put her link to her channel in my description box um, but she loves anything hair and beauty and she's so cute and she's Haitian like me so we connected immediately on that front so go please check her out because she heavily supports my channel so subbies go support her too okay we're both micro influencers just trying to figure this stuff out together right so she did ask me two questions let me pull those up so simply j asked what was it like growing up patient y'all so i didn't have i would say not the traditional experience as most full haitian people do like my mother is haitian my mom's family is full haitian and my dad's family is african-american they're both black, but it's just different culture. That's why I designated the, the differences between the two. And so my mom is first generation American, I'm second generation. And so I sort of didn't have similar experiences as my folks out there that are first generation Haitian, right? Haitian American. I do, I did get a lot of that first generation Haitian American experience from any time I was around my grandmother, but I had a normal upbringing in terms of that, like American kid upbringing. I was born in Chicago, I grew up there until I was 14, and that's where a lot of my development years were. Like. I lived, my family moved to Arizona when I was 14, so, but right when I was starting high school, not uh, for eighth grade. And so I lived in Arizona for four years, 
for high school and then I went off to University of Oregon for college and that's when my adulthood started. I had a lot of pressures that did stem from the Haitian culture in terms of valuing education. Um, I'm doing okay getting A's, B's, some C's there. No C, no B, I tell you it's already. <clears throat> what do you want to do with your life? Oh, I told you I wanted to be a photographer. For I talked to you already just now me. I tell you, you be doctor. Doctor! Same way every make. You make money? You do I make what? money when I'm a photographer too. I Shut up! Make. Shut up! See my Shut up! Shut up! I'm your mother. I'm speaking right now. No photography. You want to be photographer? Do it your own time. Period. You know, it's it's books over everything over here, you know. But pause y'all. Time to take my mask off, okay, sis? get into it let me rub that in all right y'all so pause that story really quick i'm going to follow up with the toner so again i remember i mentioned earlier that if you don't have a mask you can just go to the next step which is the toner i'm using the fenty skin fat water it's a toner plus a serum okay actually i forgot you don't need to have a pad for that you can just use your hands so i'm gonna apply that and yeah, so growing up patient, like I had the pressures um, about education, that was it. That was pretty much it. Like, you know, it was no, you're not, there was no like, you're gonna skip college or take a break. Like, it was none of that. Like, your journey was to, to go to college and be successful, right? So that was like that pressure, which I feel like is the same for a lot of, you know, Islanders or you know, even African, you know, people like, people that are immigrants, I should just say, immigrant, when they come to America, they like, we gotta be the best. Uh, contrary to a lot of people that are not cultures beliefs that immigrants aren't really worth anything. It's really sad when people actually think that it's really dumb. But anyways, so yeah, but my mom had a harsher experience being first generation like with the education thing because you know she couldn't really do extracurriculars like and she was really good at sports and cheer and stuff like that so she could do it short term but she couldn't make it a long term thing and so like for her with me she really allowed me to be a lot involved in the arts and I tried sports I wasn't good at sports so if it was sports for me then it would have been but I, I was trash. I started dancing when I was six. All, all the way up into college. College, I was a dance minor, and so that was my passion for a long time. But yeah, that's sort of like my experience growing up Haitian. Obviously, like the Haitian food's fire, but I am not skilled at making Haitian food, so I, I need to get better at that because I want my kids to experience Haitian cuisine. So yeah. Anyways, if you guys have any questions about my childhood or <laughs> Growing a patient being Haitian, comment down below. Or if you're Haitian yourself, drop your flags down below, period, poo. All right, let's get into the next thing. So we are going to get into serums. We're almost done. And so I like to apply my Water Bank Eye Gel by Laneige. It is my OG. I have so many videos using this for skincare. Just go to my skincare playlist and you'll see I'm using this pretty much. So I love putting this around my eyes. It's very cooling too. It's very cooling. Love. If I'm leaning back, it's just because I'm looking at my mirror. So sorry about that, y'all. Okay, and Simply J asked one more question. So thanks, girl, for your support. You know, as my channel grows, I'm sure more people will respond to my questions and polls. But thank you for always supporting me. Love you for that. How do you, I think it was like, how do you know you're the, the man you're with is the one or who you're dating is the one? And oh, I'm using, how do you pronounce this? Ole Henriksen? Henriksen? I can't pronounce it. But their truth serum, is the truth serum? Yeah, it's a vitamin C serum. Vitamin C is very great for hyperpigmentation, the dark circles under your eye or any blemishes that you have. So if you experience that, I would highly suggest getting any vitamin C serum in your repertoire because it's definitely a must. I like this one, but I do like CEO Glow, CEO Glow better. 
okay I got the sample size and it's more of an oil consistency this one's more stickier vitamin C does tend to be sticky I've noticed but this one's more stickier I do like CEO glow better you can find that at Sephora they usually have sample sizes of it too so go online and you'll find some but this one is a hard question like how do you know your man is the one sis if they're not giving you any problems I always have said like relationships are not supposed to be that hard yes marriage is hard in general like the the nature of blending your life and your values with somebody that's that's different right but at the basis of your relationship it shouldn't be hard it shouldn't be arguments it shouldn't be like you guys shouldn't be arguing off the stupid stuff if you're doing that before marriage marriage will be trash for you I'm just saying I'm just keeping it right but I can say that I haven't had that one moment where I was like oh my gosh epiphany michael is the one like i never had that but i just felt it like actually when we started dating i felt like i knew him already like that's the feeling that i had so it was honestly i feel like it was never a question that we were gonna get married like i feel like that i feel like i just felt it like i just was like oh like i'm gonna spend my life with this guy but it wasn't like a big epiphany so i mean it's just hard hard to explain how you know but my advice is that sis if you're in a relationship or the guy if you are a guy watching this you can take this advice too like make sure you're you're knowing and understand what your non-negotiables are and know yourself before you are fully in a relationship and committed that definitely goes a long way I'm not saying don't date I feel like dating does help you find yourself and help you know what you like and what you don't like but it is definitely important for you commit like lifetime lifetime commitment to someone that you really are evaluating like okay is this guy what are, what are your non-negotiables like that's different for everybody but these are just examples what I'm gonna say like, is he a provider? Um, is he ambitious? Um, is he health conscious? Um, is he caring? Is he loving? Is he thoughtful? Does he value family? Does he value education? Does he value, does he want kids? How many kids? Like, you do, I feel like a lot of times people go through relationships without asking those questions, and then later on they're like, surprise after they invested all this time or are deeply in love with somebody and like trying to change themselves because they didn't ask the questions in the beginning so i definitely say like take advantage of your dating time and asking those questions and you can't be so afraid to be alone to settle for something that you don't want or know is not for you so I've seen a lot of card games out there for dating or just friendships in general I'll put the link down below because the card game is like in my room somewhere um, but it's like couples questions and just play that at dinner like just pick three cards and ask random questions these are questions that you will never learn or, or probably ask on your own right so that's definitely helpful in terms of a conversation starter especially if you are a type of person that's not that great or still trying to develop yourself in terms of being able to communicate so yeah if you guys have any relationship questions or anything comment that down below okay the next thing we're gonna use is for Solly so I have these sample sizes from Sephora um, for Solly is a very expensive brand so you know I, I honestly don't think it for me like I like other serums better they're not worth the full size I mean I guess unless I was balling I would probably buy the full size but to me stick with the sample sizes because a sample I still I got, I got this at the beginning of 2020 it's 2021 okay so the sample sizes last a long time so I'm going to use the Rose Gold Elixir. This is 24 karat gold infused beauty oil. So it's just a beauty oil to your face to add. And it does have, oh I think this is run on low y'all. It does have gold flakes in it. I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, don't want to waste it.
I don't feel like Frisali's products smell good. Like, maybe I need to figure out, like, I don't know. I just don't think, I think really, like, this one smells like, I'm not going to lie, I'm not trying to be funny, but this 24 karat gold, it smells like vegetable oil. <laughs> like, it doesn't smell like anything nice or it doesn't have like a herb in it or anything like that. It just smells like cooking oil. So now for the last thing we want to do is make sure you put a moisturizer with SPF or a moisturizer and then add your SPF, okay? I use Fenty Skin Hydro Visor. It's a moisturizer and SPF in, in one. I love this stuff. I actually am thinking about purchasing the full size. But just pausing right here, you can add more serums. Like, you don't have to stop here. You can add hyaluronic acid, like Fab. First Aid Beauty has a great hyaluronic acid serum. You can add more serums. You can layer it however you want. You can do that in terms of what your skin needs and all of that, right? But I'm gonna apply my moisturizer. So that is it, like we are done with this video. Hopefully it was helpful. If you have any skincare questions, please make sure you comment down below. If you have any products that you want me to try for you before you go out and purchase, please comment down below and let me know. Let's make it a community in those comments down below, sis. I comment and respond to every single comment down there. So that's all I have for you curls. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and don't forget to subscribe. But until next time curls, peace and love.